Welcome back. In this video, we're going to take all of our drum sounds that we added in the uh, previous video. And we are going to uh, install Howler.js, which lets us actually play one audio file, but we can split up the sounds into different parts of the same audio file so you can so you can play them individually. So that's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to need to install Howler.js. And then after that, we're going to need to make an audio sprite and tell Howler.js how to split it up into different parts, into the different drum sounds that we want. So on Howler.js.com, let's just go back here. I'm going to click on the docs. And then you can see we just want to uh, use like link to it directly in our HTML. So we can take this one hosted CDN this one right here and we just want this normal howler min js so let's just copy this then we get all of this javascript i'm just going to copy all of this and i'm gonna go back to the editor visual studio code and inside here i am going to make a new file not inside the drums just inside here and let's call it Howler min.js. Gotta paste everything here. That looks right. Just gonna save that, and we're not gonna need to mess with that ever again. So I'm just gonna close it down. But what we need to do is we need to link to it in here. So in here in our HTML, just before we uh, we link to the script app.js, we're just gonna link to the Howler.js that we just put there. So script source, we're going to link to this one here, and that should hopefully work. So in order to use Howler.js, we need to feed it with some sounds, and we need to use one of these audio sprites that I talked about before. Uh, so we need an audio file, and we need some, some way to create this audio file for, for us. Because remember, we already have all the drum sounds here. Now we want to put all of them into an audio file. So in order to take these audio files and combine them into one audio file, we can use this audio sprite tool that you can find online. You can find it on GitHub. And there's a link in the description, of course, for that. Um, first of all, we want to install it to our system. And uh, we want to install it globally. So we can go to our Visual Studio Code. And another cool thing about Visual Studio Code is we have a terminal built in here. So oh, I need to put sudo in, in front of it because I'm on a Mac. And I want to npm install. And I want to install it globally. And it's called Audio Sprite. As far as I remember, I'm going to hit Enter. And I'm going to type in my password. And it's installing. It's going to take some time, maybe. All right. So it looks like it's um, it's installed now. So this package, we're going to need to... This is not enough for us. We also need... Because what is going to happen here with this when we run this? We're going to point to a folder, and we're going to tell the audio sprite tool that we want to output two different kinds of files, a WebM format and an MP3 format. But in order to do that, the audio sprite tool needs something called FFmpeg. And that is like an encoding library that will uh, help encode these different sound files. So we need to install that as well. And that can be a bit tricky because it's not something that you just do unless you have some tools to just do it for you. So let's have a look at how we can do that. So there are many different ways you can install this FFmpeg tool on your computer. You can go to this ffmpeg.org slash download dot html and then you can download a, a package for mac or for windows or for linux and you can find different uh, tutorials online how to install it unfortunately i don't have a windows machine so i can only do it on on apple and i actually tried to install this uh, from the terminal and you really have to make sure that you do it the right way and if you're missing some files you can get in a lot of trouble so you can use something called homebrew but only for the mac um or Linux. If you're on a PC, you can use one of the links that I uh, provide down below in the description. But what you basically just do, you just copy this one here, and then you put it in your terminal. And I already installed this because I tried this out before making this video. 
So it's probably going to give me some warnings that uh, press return to continue or any other key. That's because I already have it on my computer. But I'm just going to hit enter and let it install everything here. And it's going to take some time. It's, it could take like 10 minutes or something like that. So I'm just going to stop the recording right now and I'm going to get back to you when it has been installed. So now Homebrew has been installed to the computer and we need to install the FFmpeg package. I cannot do anything here. I don't know what the heck is going on. Uh, nothing. I'm just going to open up a new terminal here and I can type out brew install oops in install ffmpeg like this and then it will install this package on my computer and this is going to take some time as well and finally it's been installed i had a cup of coffee maybe two while i was waiting for this but yes it should work right now so we have ffmpeg installed now which is a dependency of um of the audio sprite tool that we're going to create the audio sprite with. So now we can finally get to do that. Uh, let me just close down a couple of these terminals here and let's uh, find out how we do that. Actually, we're going to need a terminal, so I'm going to open it up again. Um, first of all, I want to navigate into the drums folder. So I'm going to go CD drums. All right, we're in the drum folder. I can do an LS and I can see that I have my six drum samples here all in wave format we're going to use this audio sprite tool to create those and if you scroll down you can see we already installed it and you can see the dependencies that's ffmpeg so that is what we did already and if you go to this page you can also see how you install this stuff on your pc um, but here you can see all of the different things you can do with it we are going to be using howler js as we already talked about and uh, so we're going to be using you can see there's uh you can use howler or howler 2 it's actually howler 2 we're going to be using so it already has a preset for that and uh but let's just try and and, and do this i'm just gonna you know what i'm just gonna keep this on the side so we can always refer to it okay and then here let me scooch it over here all right, and then let's close this one so we can see what we're doing. So what we want to do, we want to use Audio Sprite. That's the package we installed, this one here. So let's type out Audio Sprite. And then we want to export. You can see over here, this is the file types that we, uh, that we can export. And we can... Um, what we need actually is only the WebM and the MP3. So I am going to type that out here. It's going to be WebM and then comma MP3. So those are the two file types that we're going to... This is not correctly spelled. It's like this, okay? All right, I'm going to zoom out a little bit so it's easier to see the whole line here. We are going to tell it what format we want it and we want it at as that's over here so format the output json file uh, and that's i'm going to show you guys later how to use that when we get that and that's going to be format and the format we're going to use is howler2 and then we want to output it the output the file name for the output let me open up this like this so that's output. We want the output name. Let's just call it drums. And then we want to take everything that is inside this folder. And that is uh, yeah, all of these right here. So we go star dot wave files here. So it'll take all of the wave files with this extension in this folder that we are already in. And it's going to exported uh, two different sound files types like a webm and mp3 and it's going to format the json file that we're going to need later to howler2 and we want to output it as the the drums file and it's going to take all of the stuff inside the folder and yeah let's just see what happens i'm going to hit enter wow so you can see if you go through this what it's actually doing here it's going to it's taking the first file here 
and it's uh, added, adding the file, and then it's adding a silence gap in between that file. So it adds one second of silence in between every single file and outputs it in one big file. So if we go up here and we see in, we see we, we have a drums JSON file, we have a drums MP3 file, and we have a drums WebM file. Let's first have a look at the JSON file because that's pretty interesting. If you open that up, you can see, let me close on the terminal here, you can see we get the, the source, just an object that we can use. We can actually copy and paste this directly into Howler.js. And uh, the first uh, is the source. What is it called? The name of the files. And then here, this is the interesting part. Uh, we start from zero and it put the clap inside in this and it starts at zero seconds and then it lasts until 734. And then the closed hi-hat starts here and then lasts until this and then this one starts here. So it basically just created an audio file for us with all of these uh, sounds inside of them. So in here, remember we added the Howler uh, script here and that's what we're going to use now. So inside our app.js, we can make a new constant and call it drums for example and we can set that to new howl and what we want here it's taken an object like this okay so remember we had this drums json here actually we can just take the whole object that is the whole object right here just copy that and go back to our app.js and this is the object that we want to place so I'm just gonna paste this in here so we get uh, the property source and we get the sprite telling that uh, we're actually dealing with a spite sprite here and the first one it's gonna have the name of clap when we call that it's gonna play the sound in this audio file from zero until here right so one thing we need to change here is the the path so it's gonna be drums because we have it in the in the drums here, right? And the same right here. And another thing that's worth mentioning is it's not going to load both of these files. It's going to go to your browser and say, "Hey, what kind of um, what kind of audio file do you prefer?" Uh, and if the browser you're using or the user is using uh, likes the WebM format, then it's going to pick that one and then this is going to be the fallback or vice versa so if it, you prefer mp3 it's going to fall back to this if it doesn't work so that's um, it's not going to load both of the files it's just to to make sure that you uh, yeah that it's compatible so right now we should actually be able to play one of the sounds let's see if we can do that so we called it drums so i'm just going to use that and then i can call the howler play method on it and pass it a string of what we want and let's just try the snare I'm gonna save that and we hear the snare that's cool kick save yeah every time I save it it reloads the browser and I can hear this sound so it yeah, we have all the sounds here already. So now we are ready to actually take those sounds and apply them to our our pads here. So when we hit these on our in our browser or on our tablet or wherever we hit them, we're going to play that that sound. And I think this video is long enough already, so let's wait until the next video with adding the sounds to the drum pads. See you there.